even if a deal is struck between Greece and its creditors, the problem isn't solved, warns Saxo's Steen Jakobsen. Greece is, is this question that will remain in place for a long, long time, even after this. Think about it. If they do get a short-term deal right now, we immediately need to start finding 50 to 70 billion to refinance all of the debt in Greece. And don't forget either that Greece already is paying 0% of most of their debt, so it's not like they're going to have any sort of relief. We're basically talking about a country who is unwilling, unable to reform. And on the other hand, they certainly is is right. They are right in claiming that they need a, desk, uh, a debt discount. But how can you issue a debt discount when you have a country who is totally unwilling to reform at any, any, any price, politically, practically? So we have a cash 22 in Greece, which means there isn't really a, a good solution for anybody and everybody is, is losing right now. So how does Steen think it will end? We will have a resounding maybe, and that maybe, in my opinion, result in a Greek election being called inside the next four weeks. I think ultimately that is the plan from Syriza. Uh, don't forget that even if they do get a deal with Europe, they still need to have it passed in Parliament. The Parliament is very clearly anti-austerity in any shape or form and given into the EU, to the EU. So I think we have a stalemate, and I think that stalemate will be replaced by a need to have a referendum in, in Greece. And what we've seen in the polls recently, of course, is that I think there is 65 to 70 percent majority for keeping the euro in place. I think Zarissa will have a significantly harder time this time trying to convince the Greeks that they have the good uh, and the future of Greek uh, in their minds when they do these negotiations. It's become too much of a theatre and too little about fundamentals. And just how important does Steen think Greece is for the markets? I think long term, medium term, uh, Greece has zero impact on the financial market and, and the return on assets. Of course, short term, for the risk on, risk off, day to day trading, the intraday trading has huge impact as we've seen over the last couple of weeks, days of plus minus three, six, eight, ten percent of the stock market. So clearly the, the sort of the, the hot money is pursuing the trend, but I think long term, Greece in terms of GDP, Greece in terms of its export, imports, its, uh, its stock market is so insignificant, it's not really going to have a spillover effect.